Tyler, can you just talk about those first two exhibition games and, and where you think you're at in Martin's offense? Um, trying to get comfortable. Um, you know, like coming in, learning a new offense, it's uh, difficult at times. Uh, just to kind of, uh, I guess, find your way and and, and then know the things you need to do and, and the role you need to play in that offense. Um, but I think we're doing a good job, and um, I think we're going to continue to get better. I think the first two games uh, we look good, um, but we'll continue to get better and we'll progress through the season. It's always tough to play for a new coach. Has, has, how has Coach Martin made the transition a little easier for you guys as you've drawn along the last few weeks? Extremely easy. Coach Martin's a, a great coach, um, easy guy to get along with, and, uh, you know, nothing but positive things to say about Coach Martin. And, uh, you know, you can really tell that, you know, he cares about us, you know, on and off the court. He really cares about our success and about us as individuals and not just basketball players. Um, and, you know, that really helps you to, to, to respect a guy and uh, to, to really, you know, know that he cares about you. It's like to be a different thing getting used to a new coach and how he, he does things in that. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a tough thing. I mean, especially the unknown. Um, before Coach Martin came in, you really didn't know, you know, what he was going to be like, or um, you know, the personality he was going to have, or you know, how how you're going to fit into, you know, um, you know his his team and and you know his system. Um, but I, I thought uh, I thought you know the transition's been extremely easy um, with his personality and and you know the way he makes us feel about the, you know that he cares about us. Do you like the game, the guys we have this team? I do. Um, you know, we're we're all uh, hanging out together, um, uh, and I think that really plays a role um, in, into that. You have to, you know, you got to be friends with guys off the court, and it's so much easier to relate on the court when when you you know you got each other's backs on and off the court. Um, I think that really helps out, and I think we're doing a good job of that. How much does actually getting on the court for games help you know develop the team more and, and figure out more what y'all? Can do? Um, I think it helps. I mean, anytime you go through, uh, like Coach Martin talks about, you know, going through the fire and going through difficulties and on on the floor, um, it, it helps you to you know to, to see where guys are at and to help each other, you know, push each other through different you know tough situations. And uh, I think uh, that you know that's only going to get better as the season progresses. Also, I think you know the more you know the more. I guess trials and tribulations that we go through as a team, and you know, come through successful. Um, the more confidence everybody is going to have. Scott, there's like a, a switch flip with coach's personality, the way he is uh, on the floor and versus the way he is, you know, it just seems so cool in this atmosphere, but out on the court, it's intense. Yeah, we've seen it in practice, so I guess it's not as new for us. Um, you know, he's that way every day in practice, you know, super intense. You know, when, when you're on the floor, that's what it's about. It's about basketball and nothing else. You know, you gotta you got to have your mindset on achieving one goal, and that's getting better every day. Um, and then, you know, when you get off the court, he's, he's sort of more laid back, you know, really uh, uh, extremely, you know, cool, calm and collected. And you just kind of talk to him very, very uh, laid back and easy going. And uh, it is, it's like a switch flips. And, you know, when he steps on that hardwood, it's time to play and it's time to get to work. And, uh, you know, there's, there, it's all business from there. Skyler, as, as you guys got closer, or just in practice closer to playing this first game, this coach, has he maybe gotten more intense, more serious as you guys get closer to playing, you know, when I think he just uh, raises the level of concentration and practice, um, really focusing um, on uh, on the task at hand. Um, you know, on the next team that we play, um, really uh, dialing in on uh, scouting reports and um, the the things that we need to do to be successful and, and, and to win the game. Chris talked about all the unknowns with this team. What's it like as a player when you go out there and so so few of you have played any meaningful minutes that you really don't know what to expect from the other guys? Uh, just take it day by day. Um, take it day by day and try to get better every day. And uh, um, I have I have uh, the utmost confidence in, in every one of the guys that are, that's on our team. Um, know what they're capable of. Seen it in practice. I've uh, seen it in, uh, um, and, and know that you know they're going to be successful. And so you know when I go out there, I really don't have any doubts. You know I, I look uh, I look for the guys out there and looking for the open shot. And you know any guys that got open shots, I want them to take it. And I know we're going to bust our butts on the defensive end. And uh, so, um, you know, I, just speaking for myself, I have the utmost confidence in every one of my teammates. Scott, I know you gave me asked you guys about 62 three-pointers in two games. You said, you know, that's coaches fine as long as they're good shots. Is, that, is he still fine with it on Tuesday in practice, or do you have any kind of you know, feedback for you? Yeah, I think so. I think as long as we're taking good shots, you know, he, uh, he, he really uh, – 
he wants us to take them. And like like he said, and I know, you know, speaking, uh, you know, from a shooting standpoint, it, it's a hard thing when you're going out there and you're second guessing yourself about, you know, should I take this shot or should, you know, it's a hard thing. And it's nice to know that, you know, he's really big on if it's a good shot, take it. You know, it gives you confidence as a shooter and. Um, I think as long as you're uh, working hard on the defensive end and doing everything you can, playing extremely hard, I think he's okay with you taking the open shots. Scott, when you talk about going through the fire, of course, Mark talked about you. you know, it almost sounds like you guys are bracing for the season. Is it just because you're aware that, 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 that this inexperience is going to put you in a tough situation against more experienced teams pretty soon? Um, I think it's just more about uh, the, the teams that we play. Um, SEC is a really good league. Um, we've got a lot of tough teams uh, ahead of us, and we know that. We know that you know that a lot of teams can play in our league, and uh, I think it's just about you know being prepared for for, for what's coming. Um, we know that, that this is a strong league, and that the, the teams are really good, and we know it's going to be a battle every night, and uh, I think that that's the biggest thing. Before your your Kansas shot, you were relatively anonymous. Now the UNC Greensboro coach saying today, you're pretty much automatic from the outside. Um, how much attention do you think you're going to get this season with your premiership? Um, I hope a lot. I hope I hope uh, I hope people are crowding me out there, and uh, I think that opens up the inside for the rest of the guys. You know, I think that's uh, one of my roles on this team is to hopefully spread the defense a little bit, where uh, um, you know the gaps are bigger. Um, we can get the ball inside, and uh, um, that way, you know. Uh, we're playing, I guess you could say, four on four down there, and uh, you know the other guys are um, scoring and, and and doing what they need to do. Skyler, you guys have played two exhibition games, but it starts for real on Friday. How do you feel with that game coming up uh, two days away? Are you excited? Are you nervous? What are your thoughts? I'm excited. Um, you know, it's always it's always fun to kick off a new season. Uh, it was good to get our uh, get our feet wet, I guess, in um, these two exhibition games and kind of see where we were at. You know, playing against a playing against an opponent, not just each other in practice. Um, and excited, excited to, to kick off this season, and uh, um, you know, excited to play with all the guys that I'm playing with. Um, and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do really well. Would you say this team's identity has maybe gone from being a favorite, a perennial? to maybe be in the underdog role? Do you feel like the team's kind of embraced that? Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, I don't really get, I don't think we really get caught up in, uh, you know, the underdog role or, or uh, you know, being a powerhouse. We're really, Coach Martin just stresses going out there and playing hard every night, you know, no matter what role you're in. Um, I think if you play the, the same way every night, you know, it don't really, it don't really matter if you go out and do your best. You know, that, that's all you can ask for, no matter, you know, no matter what role you're playing. We talked Monday after the game about the hard work that you put in between last season and the start of this one, and also how hard the team has worked. What does that do in building up the build up to this first regular season game and just getting out there and executing and benefiting from all the hard work you guys have put in? I think it just um, it raises your confidence level. Um, you know, these some of these workouts that, that we've been through in this off season are you know some of the toughest I've ever done, and uh, I think it. it, it gives you a level of confidence that you've never had before. You know, I've worked harder than I ever have before. You know, the results should pay off more than they ever have before. I think that's just, you know, cause and effect. And um, I think that's what's going to happen. I think we've worked really hard, and I think it's now it's time to pay off. What's it been like to see how hard everybody, whether it was a veteran player or a newcomer, work as hard as this team has? It's good. I think it brings you close together. You know, when uh, when you're going through those workouts and, uh, you know, you hit that wall sometimes where you don't think you could go anymore and, and you have that guy, you know, in your ear telling, you know, come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. And then, you know, some days you're the guy telling somebody else, you know, keep pushing, keep pushing. I think it builds a team unity that we have. Um, and I think that helps with our team chemistry. And I think it's really going to pay off this season.